going on everyone? Out here today on Cayuga Lake. Uh, it's the beginning of May. Got our first really, really nice day in a while. The weather's been pretty crappy lately, so decided to be out here and uh, hopefully put the hurting on some bass. Water temp's in at 51 right now, so it's pretty perfect. Gonna be throwing probably a lot of moving baits and jigs and probably fishing mainly shallow, but we might try to get some deep stuff going too. Fishing around a lot of cover and whatnot, so uh, see if we can get some fatties in the boat. First one of the day. Not terrible. I'll take it. Nice. I'll take it. That's a good one. Good three pounder yeah, to start. Maybe two and a half. It's bad though. All right. Just going south of the boat. Did eat it real close to the boat? Yeah, he munched it too. It was down his throat. You'd think they'd be pushed up shallow. Yeah, with the water level so high. That's normally what I see them do when the water gets high, you know? Guess he did too much stupid for him. <laughs> yeah, right. I feel, like, we'll put him over the, uh, I feel like he's really been unraveling as of lately. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's like a four, he's not that big, but... Solid one. I was like, is that a bite? No way. He's going crazy. That's a solid one. I'll oh. take that. Light, light bite under that dock. I figured there'd be a couple up here, but... Nothing going on. Kind of surprised me. Fatty. They're fat. They've been lunching. If he's under there now, that means this afternoon they could really push under these dogs. There's one. A little one. Not, not very big, nah. About time. Oh. <laughs> Chunky. <laughs> Set it. Put it in the boat. Two pounder. Back the back guy. There it is. All the way in the back. So the other one was a bass too, then, for sure. They're just real finicky back here today. He wasn't even on the dock, man. He was just kind of like out. Oh, he came off, dude. He didn't feel that big, he felt little. That was the same spot I found this morning. He was offshore, he wasn't even close to shore. He didn't hit hard either. No? Nibbled it. Didn't feel very big.
get back for it. Yeah? Yeah. Decent. Hey, hey. Decent one. Yeah. He's got a body on him. First fish we caught in a while. Felt good. Two pounder. Oh, yeah. Dirty jig eater. Better. Yeah. Little pod ski. I'll take it. It's a chunker. Nice. Purple. Huh? Bunch of the jig. They're biting it so light. I can I'm give you one of these if you want to try one. Yeah, I'm going to tie mine back up. Or, or try yours. Uh, you get close to the boat. They're not even close to shore. They're sitting offshore. There's another one. He bit it. I saw it and dunk. <laughs> Just like right here, there's some rocks. I can feel them. They're sitting on the rock. Light bites, so I mean, they're just not really firing today. There, you got it. Dude, how does he not get hooked? <laughs> That's insane. He, he hit it good. You get sunk? Got him? Double up, double up. <laughs> double up, baby. Double up. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a chunker, dude. Coupled up. Let's go. <laughs> that's a chunk and a half right there. You need a nap of yours? No, I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> dude, that's the first ever bass I've ever caught on the jig. Nice, dude. Yo, yours is a dunk. It's actually a kind of a fatty. I might have you take a pic of him real quick. Yeah. Just in case I'll, I don't catch. For you for sure. Just in case I don't catch any more big ones. I hope I do. But dude, we we found a little pod right here. Cool. Nice. Well, cheers to that. Hell yeah, buddy. It's a thunker. Night and day. It's a three and a half at least. Yo, doubled up. That was sweet. Doubled up, baby. <laughs> he came back right three times. I think it was the same one. Keep it going. Finally getting on something here. Yeah, it's like a pot of rocks right here. It must be sitting on. Oh, you caught one. They're really turning on. There's one. Oh, right except, oh. Good one? Nah. Not really. I mean, not bad by any means, but oh. only only ones I'm gonna make you net are for like fives. Another two, two and a quarter. That's the, the sickest in the world. I don't know, like how how do you just know when to just yank? You feel it. it you feel like it's a you feel like a little tap in the rod. You just feel like a little zing, and that's when you yank and it. That's what, so that's like. Most of the time, they're gonna eat it whole, right? Yeah. And then the the rip is just like set them into on them. The way yeah. Out. Yep. Set into the top of their mouth. That's the only thing you set that hard with is like a jig or like a, a flipping bait. Most things you're not gonna set that hard on. Right. But you want to drive it in there so they don't come off. 
sometimes you don't feel a thunk. Sometimes you just see your line moving. If anything feels off, you just set, you know? But usually you'll feel a pretty good tap. It's all about the rod sensitivity too. That's why you need the fast tip though, the medium heavy with the fast tip, because the fast tip lets you uh, feel the bite better. If you don't have the fast tip, you're not gonna feel it as good. Not just in case, he's kind of tugging. Come on, get out from him. Man, he's not that good. Decent one, though. Took us on the day, I'd say. Yeah. At least, like. At least four pounder, right? Three and a half? Yeah. He's fat. He's really fat. Where's your scale? You want to get a Yeah, I'll weigh him. Man, that's down his throat. I'll get a picture of this one, too. Down his throat, dude. Just gone. Four pounds and six ounces. Ooh. Four and a half almost. Yeah. Put around that. That's a gut. It's a gut one. Yeah, it's thick, girl. My goodness. That was fun. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, didn't end up really smoking them like I thought we were gonna. We, we did all right, but um. Kind of a slow day. The Tiger Lake's been really crowded the, the last few times I've been out, and I think that's part of why um, I struggled to get stuff going. And there was a little bit of a south wind that day, and I'm kind of starting to notice that when the south wind blows, it blows that colder water up to the north end, and it seems to kind of shut them off. So even though we had a nice warm day, I think with that little south wind we had, just didn't have them munching as good as they could have been. I mean, in the afternoon, we still got on that little jig flurry, but other than that, it was kind of just a grind all day, and I couldn't really get much going other than the uh, the jig, but still a lot of fun, still had a great time, my buddy Sean, and, and we still caught fish, so I'm not complaining. Um, like the video, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Until next time, CK Fishing.